Hi, I'm Jason Stahl, editor of Body Shop Business. Today's high-performing collision centers have standardized their materials and processes to help ensure consistent and quality results. Even with standardization, sometimes problems can occur during the bodywork and paint process. Joining me today is Tim McKinney, Senior Application Engineer from Evercoat. Tim has worked in body shops and has dealt with almost every issue while working for Evercoat. Today, Tim will discuss some of the do's and don'ts of the bodywork and paint process to help make your shop more productive, avoid rework, and save you money. Another issue that we deal with is uh, the proper catalyzation rates. Okay. Um, this time of the year, what we see is people are putting in more cream harder. You know, it's a little chilly outside this morning as we started out. Uh, but if I'm talking to someone and it's going to be, say, maybe August, um, June, July, and it's a little bit warmer, what I tend to see is they're under catalyzing really, really heavily. Uh, there's a windage on all products. All polyesters want to catalyze at about 2%. So with our products, we say they can go down as low as at most 1%. You can go up as high as about 3%. That's still a very small window. Uh, if they over or under catalyze, then they start creating some other issues. Uh, under catalyzing, back in the day, we had issues where body fillers would stain. All the chemicals that were in the product didn't properly cure in when you put the hardener into it, polymerize is what we would say and they weren't stable. And what would happen is you'd apply your solvent-based primer over top of it, they migrated up, and then your color, then your clear, they got all the way to the clear coat, and then they would leave a discoloration. Uh, so we didn't want to radically under-catalyze. Over-catalyzing, when you're doing that, a lot of shortcuts are taking place because what they're doing is uh, they're, they're more rushed because, oh my gosh, I put in so much extra hardener, now I'm trying to hurry up and get it onto the panel. And it really cuts down on the, uh, the work time of the product. It cuts down on the, the adhesion of the material if they're taking shortcuts. And sometimes that wetting the surface and that initial good practice kind of gets thrown out the window because it's so blue, I gotta hurry up and get it on the panel. Yeah. Um, and you know, the other question that comes up about the catalyst is, well, are all catalysts the same? And uh, we hadn't really talked about that, but not really, there, there are different now. Evercoat heart catalysts, um, so we've got a new one right here. We've actually got our, our new band here. This is one of our, our newer tubes. So we show, you know, we've got this blue tube on here that says Evercoat. So everyone knows this product goes with that material. You wouldn't buy Company A's paint and then Company B's Catalyst you know, to, right. to kick right. it off. So you kind of need to work with that because we've, we've made sure that the strength of this product is going to remain the same as it always has. So catalyzing it to 2% using the right hardener are really going to be critical to make sure that they're going to get top performance out of products. Mm -hmm. Tim, what happens if you use too much or too little hardener? Well, if you use too much hardener, then you're going to cut down on the work time. If you use too little of hardener, then it's going to be under catalyzed. We see that happen a lot in the, the summertime when they need more work time. Um, and in the wintertime, it's cold this morning. Sometimes they're going to put in too much. Tim, thank you so much for your time today, giving us all this great information on troubleshooting tips when applying body filler. We talked about proper catalyzation, that's hugely important. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.